J.B. Mooney has been given perhaps the golden ticket aboard Show Me Home. That right there is why you never count J.B. Mooney out. There is going to be a lead change here in round number one, and it's none other than the GOAT. How good does a ride like that make somebody feel? Watch JB's reactions. 88 and a half. Really a good ride, too. And this is the exact opposite of what we were seeing out of Silvano. You see how he keeps moving the whole time. It's, it's you know, he's, he's really pretty much in perfect position. The whole ride right there. But everything wasn't tight. He was moving with the bull. <laughs> Cody Webster. Gets an exuberant hug. Flint gets a hand slap, and JB gets to do an interview. Let's send it to Kate. Great ride, JB. You've had a lot of big rides in your career, but your reaction after that one said a lot. Why was that so big? Been pretty rusty here the past few weeks. Uh, needed to get something going. Felt like I made a good ride on that bull and pump. Ready to go on more bulls. You had to recoup and regroup after uh, what you had in your first bull and get that re-ride. How do you mentally refocus and have the energy, the power to get a big ride like that? I'm one I don't like not to get out on a bull. I pride myself on being out, being able to get out on the shoot fighters, and that bull just wouldn't give me no shot at all. I run the next one in there, you look at him the same way, ride him jump and jump. Well done. Thank you. Craig. Not the best ride of his career, but the best ride here in 2020. So far for J.B. Mooney, we all got to witness how happy he is with the result. He wants payback right here. We saw Brennan Eldred put together a lights out style ride earlier. Jess Lockwood does the same here. There's your redemption against Rebel Call for 89 and three quarters. Great ride by Lockwood, and there it is. And, it, and you could see it almost when the bull went back the other way and won a clamp, and he just did. He just started letting go of things, moving his feet. And I'm not talking about spurt, just moving with the bull, going back to the middle. You know what? Most guys don't like that bull. They don't want any part of him. Lockwood's been on him before, as you talked about, bucked him off. He's fired up to have him again because he knows this can be the result, a round win, which he really needs. He moves to the top of the round and second overall in the event. And for Jess Lockwood, you know we can see it already. He's got the smile, he's done his job, and now he gets to talk to Kate. Great ride, you're leading the round, but you were shaking your, hat, your head rather and a bit dissatisfied after. Why is that? Yeah. I'm I hate to say it, but I just haven't felt myself, and I just feel like I'm being a little lazy and not uh, really going at these bulls, and I was just kind of getting by to make the whistle, not being aggressive. Before the ride, McBride was saying how you've been riding a bit tighter right now. Do you feel like that ride allowed you to loosen up at all? I, I felt tight at the end. I got, got sat down on my butt, and I just went into preservation mode for making the whistle instead of getting up on my legs and finishing my job. I got the job done, but it's not how I like to get the job done. You got one more to get it done the right way, but well done. Thank you, guys. Craig. I thought he made a great pick here. This bull was really impressive in round one. Brennan Eldridge, your new leader, in position to perhaps win his first ever event at this level. We always talk about the great rodeo background he has and how he's got all the ingredients to put it together every time out of the shoots. And this weekend, it's all coming to fruition. 92 and a quarter. Brennan Eldridge showed up this weekend, man. Great ride right here. Looks like he's too far to the inside. He holds just long enough. That was gutsy. That was good stuff. Big time score. Hey, no, that's a great bull, but Eldred, man, I'm proud to see that out of this guy right here. A career-high score in position to win his first career event, and he's with Kate.
Brennan, incredible ride. Describe the moment when you heard that whistle and the celebration after. Uh, I wasn't for sure during that whole ride if I was going to make the whistle or not. He uh, had me in there, had me out there, and uh, just thank God it worked out, Kate. Well done. Thank you. Craig. <laughs> oh! Well, doesn't matter how you get to the championship round, it's what you do when you're in it. Circada deserves all the credit in the world after taking a monster down. 87 and three quarters on the back of Godzilla. Yeah, this was like being back at home for this guy. He cut his teeth getting on bulls like this in Brazil. Bigger, taller, lankier bulls that are slower. Got got some hang time to them. That was just a day off for Circada there. Good ride. Even gives him some business at the end of yeah. it. I mean, he's, he's in complete control from start to finish. Really good ride. Bad get off, but good ride. Hey, right, if there's anything we've learned in our cumulative years in this sport, you as a writer and now as a broadcaster, me as a fan and as a broadcaster, is there is no right script to getting into the number one spot. You just want to end up there. Once you get to this point, though, and he starts jumping and kicking, you're pretty good. one that is able to strike that is only the third time viper has been ridden out of 28 career outs and that's exactly what we were alluding to red and elder can put together this sort of stuff a lot 89 points that was a dang good ride too viper a little wild leaving out here brennan held handled it perfect great jump right there that's <laughs> really good ride from Eldred. Man, he could have been 90. That was an outstanding ride. Great day from the bull. I love him out of a right hand delivery. Leap frogs everyone to the lead in the event. And he's with Cates. Tough bull to get by. How did you figure him out? Oh, that's a one that's not very predictable. Cord just moved him over here to the rides. And, uh, you know, Outlaw called me today and said just. Just do what you do and let it all hang out. And, you know, sometimes you just got to go back to the basics and uh, bear your ass down. Great ride. Thank you. Craig. You heard Eldred and Mac. That's what you preach all the time, basics. It's not sometimes. It's oh. every time. <laughs> right. It's every time.